Thank you, Alex. I'm joined now by, with Kerry Hefner. He's with the LSU Ag Center for this week's In the Garden. Uh, Kerry, thank you very much for joining oh, us. Good to I mean, be here. you're good just a you. world of knowledge about everything. So <laughs> tell us what all we're going to talk about today. Okay, first thing uh, I thought we would do is take a look at uh, something called an Eastern Cicada Killer. And we've been getting a lot of calls to the office uh, about these things. And it's this time of year when we start seeing them. This is a very formidable looking uh, solitary wasp. And they are doing exactly what the name implies. They prey on cicadas and uh, other large insects as well. And so just some things to keep in mind. First of all, they're solitary uh, insects. They will, the females will burrow a hole in the ground and take two cicadas down there with her and deposit some eggs. Um, so there's no queen or anything like that to go after. Um, and then they, they help keep our insect populations in check too. They prey on cicadas and other large insects like grasshoppers, katydids, things like that. And then we have to remember they are, uh, they are kind of awesome looking, uh, they're, they're charismatic insects, but they are harmless to humans unless, like anything else, you try to corner it or you try to handle it, which okay. they move so fast, I don't know how anyone can do that, <laughs> but they are generally not a problem and they will leave you alone unless you start trying to corner or attack it. So, okay. So no problem with Eastern Cicada Good. Killers. Now, it's tomato season that's in the right. vegetable garden, and that's what we all love to grow, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna talk a little bit next about how to save your own tomato seeds. This is a jar of seeds that are fermenting. This is uh, from a little uh, Tommy Toe tomato, or a cherry-like tomato that comes out of the Southern Appalachians called Margaret Best Yellow Tommy Toe. It, is, it has become one of my favorites to grow. I will grow it again next year, and you can too if you hit us up for some seeds. We're saving a jar full of seeds here, and you have to ferment the seeds and this is what we do we just squeeze the contents out into the mm -hmm. jar add an equal volume of water and over the next few days a layer of gunk will form along the surface and that's to be expected it's breaking down that jelly coating okay. around each seed so they'll germinate and then you just rinse them off uh, in a strainer under a stream of water in the sink I spread them out on wax paper they dry and you can store these someplace cool, uh, preferably in an airtight container. Uh, I put them in the freezer and they're fine and you'll have them for next year and every year mm -hmm. after. So. so you mentioned if they need seeds, they mm -hmm. can come see you because I yeah. just had one of those tomatoes yeah. out there and it was absolutely delicious. So <laughs> yeah. tell, I want some seeds. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> with our North Louisiana Seed Preservation Program, we're gonna have plenty of Margaret Best Yellow Tommy Toes available a little later, so. Okay, very good. All right. Well, and that's good for any. Absolutely. Anyone, okay, yeah. very good. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And now we will go to Kathy, Kathy Agin with the LSU Ag Center in the kitchen from farm to table. And that's after the break here on Louisiana Living.